All right, we're live. So thank you everybody for joining us today for this amazing opportunity to learn more about golf in Cabo and around the world. I'm gonna introduce our, our panelist today, Sean Winton. He is going to take us through some um, really beautiful images and ideas for how you can plan your next golf vacation. Remember, you can reach out to any of our travel leaders advisors. We'd be happy to help you. And throughout this presentation, if you have any questions, put them in the chat. I'll be your facilitator to ask uh, Sean your questions. So Sean, over to you. Thanks, Nora. Appreciate it. We you know, appreciate the opportunity to be able to, uh, to reach out to your, uh, your clients and, uh, and talk golf. Um, considering what we've just come off with the pandemic and we're, we're coming through it, uh, we're excited to get back out there and hit the links uh, outside the borders uh, would be wonderful. Uh, so my team that I've got on with us is uh, we've got our director of sales, Sandra Romeo, and uh, we've got our in-house PGA pro professional uh, tour guide extraordinaire, uh, Bill Curtin. Um, Bill, Bill, is a, Bill travels with our clients, which is great. So if you're ever looking to travel on a group uh, somewhere and uh, you want uh, to have some someone to look after you while you're there, but also get some tips on the range before you go out and learn how to play some Lynx golf overseas or, or down in this case in, in, in Mexico. That's Bill on the tee there on the sixth tee at uh, Cavira and Puerto Los, Ca uh, sorry, in uh, uh, Cabo San Lucas. Fantastic destination. But, you know, ultimately what we want to do today uh, for everybody listening is that, uh, you know, distinct travel, we've been around for 25 years. Uh, I've been in this, this industry for 25 years, specializing in, in uh, you know, golf all over the world. I started off, um, Scotland was my specialty. I grew up in the West Coast by Turnberry on the West Coast, an open championship venue. And um, uh, over the years, we've expanded our reach. Um, wherever the sun is shining, there's definitely a golf course. And we, uh, we either know how to get you there or we know someone who will. So our relationship with, uh, with travel leaders uh, in Minneapolis and their network is uh, we're their official golf travel partner. So we bring that expertise to the table to help uh, uh, your travel advisors uh, plan the ultimate experience built around experiential golf travel. So um, with that said, con considering what we've come off uh, with uh, the, the pandemic and travel restrictions that are still in place, we just want to talk today to let you know what, what is available uh, for planning uh, short term uh, for into 2022, um, what might not be available. Um, the usual Scotland and Ireland is definitely uh, very challenged because of uh, you know, bookings that have been uh, postponed from 2020 to 2021. And now they're being uh, rebooked into 2022, which is limiting availability for those destinations the St. Andrews in Scotland or the, you know, the Royals, uh, the Open Championship venues, the same in, in Ireland, but uh, not to be lost because there are opportunities in those two destinations, Scotland and Ireland, that are still available, but they're off the beaten path, off the, the road less traveled. And the golf is just as good uh, than some of the, you know, the well-known courses, but um, they're a bit less on cost uh, and they're just as charming uh, and the golf experience is just as good. So, um, you know, for, for Ireland, for example, instead of going into the southwest of Ireland uh, or up to the uh, Northern Ireland to play the Royal County Down or Royal Port Rush, you have um, the North and West Coast Links. It's on along the Wild Atlantic Way in Ireland, which is a stunning scenery. It's very authentic Ireland. Um, and when we say the road less traveled, it is the road less traveled. Uh, but the golf courses that sit dotted along the golf course are just truly spectacular. So uh, those will be available in the summer season. Well, the, the season over there from May until September. But if you're interested in planning a trip in 2022, now is the time to do that. And we hope that Ireland will be uh, fully, uh, fully open back to the full experience. You know, those who might have traveled this year, if they had opened, you might have been able to play the golf courses, but uh, as a Scotsman, we, we enjoy our pubs. And when you go to Ireland, you absolutely want to be able to get the full experience when you go to a destination like that. And Ireland is quintessential uh, to, to visit the pubs um, just for the, uh, the, the local atmosphere, the live music and uh, the crack, as they call it. 
C R A I C. It's just good fun. So, so that part of Ireland is open in 2022. The rest of Ireland, you're, I'm afraid we're looking at 2023. As we go to Scotland, it's pretty much the same situation. All the big names have been, uh, you know, the, the available tea times for 2022 are now being taken over by those bookings for those that couldn't travel in 2021. So, however, there are some areas like the north and west of Ireland in Scotland, it's the Western Isles, where you can combine great uh, link style golf with uh, distillery experiences for your, um, you know, for the whiskey connoisseurs out there that want to have a, you know, a golf whiskey experience. You have that in Western Islands. That's where the, the smoky peaty uh, scotch is, uh, the Lagavulins, the Laphroaigs, uh, and, and you can combine that with the likes of uh, the Macri Golf Course, a charming uh, Lynx golf course on this the island of Isla, and then you've got uh, Macrahanish, and you've got two uh, two golf courses down there, Macrahanish Dunes and uh, Macrahanish Golf Club, uh, which is amazing part of Scotland. The scenery to get there is absolutely stunning, so it's a wonderful experiential golf trip uh, that you can go for there. And then the other two areas in Scotland that won't be as heavily subscribed next year in 2022 is going to be in the Highlands which again is, um, you know, it's, it's again, the road less traveled. It's not so heavily subscribed, but some amazing uh, golf courses up there that just don't get the notoriety at some of the, uh, the open championship venues do. And then the other one in Scotland is going to be uh, just east of Edinburgh and it's the East, east Lothian region, they call it. So that's uh, you know fantastic value out there. The big one out there is Muirfield, which some of you might be aware of it is uh, an open championship venue. Uh, that is uh, booked up until 2023, uh, but there's about 12 to 15 other great golf courses in and around that area. You would base yourself either in Edinburgh, the capital city, which is it's not like a Manhattan. It's a very small, uh, walkable city with great history. And then, or you can go out to the, the town of North Berwick, which is uh, a charming little uh, village setting with uh, great restaurants, uh, pubs, and so forth in your 15, 20 minutes to all the golf courses. So, and it's a fraction of the cost of some of the, the bigger names in Scotland. As I said, the golf is just as good as those open championship venues. They're just, um, they, you know, you, there's only so much golf you can play on one trip. These are great golf courses that you can go play. So that's, uh, you know, from the Scotland, Ireland perspective, it's great. In 2022, you can also go down to England uh, and play, play some of those golf courses there. Sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. Um, the Royal, Royal Liverpool, Royal um, Lytham, St. Anne um, and Royal Birkdale, which are three British Open uh, Championship uh, golf courses. Uh, those are amazing destinations and you've got so many other great courses around there. You would base yourself in Liverpool or in Manchester. Liverpool, you've got the whole Beatles experience, which is fun in itself. And if, you have, if, you're, if you ever get caught watching uh, some of the English Premier League soccer, if you're a soccer fan, as we call it football, uh, you can, if you time it right, you can get, uh, go watch one of those matches and go play some of the golf courses. That's a very unique experience in itself. And, uh, but we, we can source all of that for you uh, if you want to go that way. So, you know, from the UK, that's what we've got, the British Isles and Wales is another destination that you might want to look at. So, but right now we want to talk about what is available now uh, this summer, for example, um, what you're finding and with, I don't know where everybody's based, but if you're based in the Minneapolis area, in Minnesota, it's, uh, your, your summer season is uh, relatively short, so maybe you go further afield if you want to, uh, to travel and play. But the usual suspects like Pebble Beach and Bandon Dunes and uh, you know, Kiowa Island, uh, places like that are heavily subscribed already be simply because people can't travel overseas. So a great alternative to that is uh, Los Cabos in Mexico. Um, we have a video here that you can probably uh, click into uh, once we can share that with you after this presentation. But there's a couple of events that we have planned for this year. This one here is uh, a celebration of the game of golf, Los Cabos Golf Fiesta. Uh, fiesta meaning fun in English. And you know that's what we believe golf should be, inclusive, fun, have a great time, regardless of uh, how good your golf game is or how not uh, or how bad it might be. But this particular golf course here is, this is called Kavira. Uh, an amazing destination. It's a Jack Nicholas design. The first four holes are down along the, um, you know, the, in the desert side, way below. 
And then after you get off the fourth green, you switch back all the way up this mountain and you get to the top of the hill and you're greeted by uh, you know, a, a local uh, hospitality representative of the golf course. And you know, they give you refreshments from you know, just some water all the way up to a shot of tequila or cerveza and some tacos. And then what lays ahead of you is the fifth tee and you're actually driving to this par four green. It's truly spectacular. And uh, so the, the program that we have is built around this uh, particular golf course. This is your final round of, of uh, over five nights. You're staying in an all-inclusive hotel called Pablo Benito Pacifica, which if you look up the coast uh, along the shoreline, that's where the hotel is. It overlooks um, the, uh, the Pacific Ocean right there. Uh, if you're lucky, you'll see whales breaching off the coast because the whales are migrating at that time of year, which is, is truly stunning. So um, that is, this is a program that uh, for five nights, four rounds of golf is, uh, is, starts at 3350 3, per person sharing. Um, we have an early booking incentive in place. Uh, if you book by the end of uh, May, I believe it is, $200 off uh, per person. Uh, so that's one of the, the experiences that we have. These are, this is a set program that's in place. And it's, we, last year we did it in December, believe it or not, we were able to pull it off during the pandemic. And we had 70 people there. It was great. And it was, it's ideal for whether it's, uh, you know, two couples traveling together and you're mixing in with other people from around uh, the country. And it's an opportunity to make new friends or you can still go do your own thing. The only thing that would be consistent is your hotel and the, your rounds of golf that you're going to be playing, but you can go do and partake in so many of the other things in Cabo. So um, the other event that we're looking to do is, uh, is coming up the not so British open because we can't go to the open championship at St. George's in England this year. So we thought it would be fun to, uh, to create uh, the not so British open golf fiesta during the same dates as the open championship in the UK in Cabo playing, um, you know, just, We've got five nights, four rounds of golf. And because it's in the summer season, um, it, it is warm, but it's a dry, it's, it's dry and it's on the Pacific side. It's not like Florida, humid heat. It's, it's still not before the true heat comes in. So it's a great destination for that. And because uh, we've been able to get some fabulous pricing and this program starts at 1875 per person sharing. Again, five nights, four rounds of golf. Your uh, breakfast is included. We'll have a welcome dinner. Uh, we have partnered with a, uh, a magazine on the East Coast here in the U.S. called Northeast Golf. And uh, some of their advertisers will be providing uh, a nice goodie bag of uh, some, some great gifts. And we will have daily prizes. It's not a tournament. It's just more for fun. Another celebration of the game on a fiesta uh, because it's all about, about fun. So that uh, we, just, we just launched this today, that particular program. So if you're interested in that, uh, we would love to have you. It's open to non-golfers as well plenty to do for the non-golfers so so that's good um again i've talked about the, the scotland side of things um and but some of the other destinations that we have ireland I've, I've done that england as i said now for 2022 two destinations that you might want to look at planning now is portugal and spain uh great cultural destinations with great food great uh great wine um the, the history the culture and the golf is absolutely fantastic uh, Portugal is one of the most valuable, uh, value-added golf destinations in Europe. Uh, it's easy to get to, uh, and, you know, because it's, it's about same, flying the same distance to the UK and the British Isles. Um, and then same with, uh, same with Spain. Uh, it's going to be the host of the, uh, of the 2023 Solheim Cup, the ladies' version of the Ryder Cup. Uh, and it's going to be at Finca Cortesin. This is an amazing area because it's in Andalusia, where you have Sevilla, or Seville as we call it, um, Ronda, Malaga, Marbella, just the, the history in this place is absolutely, truly amazing. These are cultural destinations that you want to go to. They're ideal for couples to travel together. Great for golfer, non-golfer, because it's, it's a mixture of both. Um, great for just a, a group of gents to go or a group of ladies to go. We, it's, it's a great destination for both. Again, Portugal is, uh, is the, the, the lesser cost of both destinations, but uh, they both offer great value. So as we go through, if you want to go further afield, uh, South Africa will sh surely be fully back in action. Uh, so if you're looking for a golf safari, food, wine experience, this destination has it all. It's truly amazing. Go see the big five and then go play some of the world's top golf courses. So 
we have uh, we have great relationships in this uh, in the in this destination as well as Spain and Portugal. And it's uh, if it's something, it's it's truly a once in a lifetime, and it's uh, something that we could absolutely help you with. So, uh, moving through, we've got the Caribbean. Um, you know, the Bahamas is now open. Uh, if you're vaccinated, you're allowed to travel to the uh, to the Bahamas. Uh, this picture here is the Abaco Club, which is truly one of my favorite places uh, in the world. Personally, I've had my 40th and my 50th birthdays at these at this uh, part of the world. Uh, this particular resort survived the, the hurricane, even though it was 15 miles south of the eye. It was amazing that it survived, but the golf course is truly spectacular. Uh, it's one of the best golf courses in the Caribbean. Uh, so you've got that. So that's the Abaco Club uh, on Winding Bay and an easy lift from uh, flying through Fort Lauderdale, Miami. And I believe there's a flight from Atlanta that'll be back in place. The Dominican Republic is another great uh, golf destination between Casa de Campo, Teeth of the Dog, is a great, you know, Pete Dye golf course. Uh, he's got the Dye for, which is way up on the, the hilltops. It's great. And then an hour away, you can drive over to, the infrastructure is so much better now in the Dominican Republic. You can drive over to Cap Cana, uh, Punta Cana, uh, and you've got Punta Espada, which is stunning. Every, every hole is on the Gulf, is on the, is on the, uh, the Caribbean. Uh, Corrales is a, a Tom Doak, I believe. Uh, you've got La Cana. So wonderful, wonderful, um, you know, golf options there. Uh, they have a, they have some great hotels from the all-inclusive side uh, to the a la carte. And then you've got wonderful villas. So if you are four couples looking to travel, this is a great place to do it with your own private chef, uh, full concierge, uh, the works, you can have it all there. So that's good. Puerto Rico is another great destination for the same reason, more resort based. Um, uh, the St. Regis Bahia, uh, you've got uh, the four seasons that are there. Um, and uh, you've got uh, Island of uh, Royal Isabella, which is out on the, the most uh, western part of the island on the, the North Shore. Stunning golf, uh, easy to get to, good lift uh, in Puerto Rico. And these are all great island experiences. So, And if you're interested in something truly unique and want to go to South America, Carnival is uh, obviously the biggest celebration uh, for the Catholic uh, you know, religion and I've done this a couple of times over the years and it is truly spectacular. You think about Mardi Gras in, uh, in New Orleans and it trumps it by 10. It's just truly, truly spectacular. This is a visual of uh, Copacabana Beach and uh, you've got three golf courses there. Two are private and then you've got one, you have the Olympic golf course, which obviously in uh, 2016, they, they made history by bringing golf back to the Olympics. So, um, you know, if you can combine a trip like this, Golf is a nice complement to a serious, you know, cultural experience. You know, you spend four or five days in, in Rio de Janeiro and then maybe take a, a short flight to Iguazu Falls and, and you're, uh, you have access to 300 separate waterfalls that is just uh, set in this rainforest. It's truly spectacular. So those are just some of the experiences that we can bring to you. Um, on a domestic front, we talked about, uh, you know, the Pebble Beach and through, uh, through Travel Leaders, uh, your, your, your travel advisor will be able to provide you with some added value at, um, you know, uh, preferred status when you stay at places like Pebble Beach uh, or some of the resorts that they offer that have golf, where you're going to get $100 off uh, resort credit. Some of those resort credits can be applied to around the golf, which, you know, Pebble Beach is uh, pretty expensive as a whole, but, uh, you know, any savings is great. Complimentary breakfast, breakfast today in resorts is, you know, for two people is onwards of $60, $70. So it's a great savings. So it's another reason why you should work through your travel advisor because he can provide you with some, some significant uh, value in, uh, in your spend uh, domestically. So, so that's, that's it. And then for the, we'll finish off with the, the major events. If you ever want to go to the Masters, we can help you. Um, it's not an easy ticket to get. It's not an inexpensive ticket to get, but it's a bucket list experience and uh, you have to do it right and uh, we absolutely can do that with, uh, on behalf of your, um, you know, your travel advisor. So I think uh, for now, Nora, that's what I've got here as an overview of everything else. And um, you know, be happy to uh, see if my colleagues would like to say anything. Bill, would you like to say anything? Or Sure, I'd just like to uh, <clears throat> say that uh, a lot of the experiences that we provide are, are unique, especially to uh, the non-golfer who might want to experience golf and especially want to travel with their significant other. 
So we'll put together a quick little program and that non-golfer all of a sudden becomes hooked on golf and uh, <laughs> ends up with uh, a couple of golfers having a good time for the rest of their lives together. So uh, we're looking forward to traveling with you. Thank you. Sandra? Sure. Hi. So um, we're just excited to see that golf is on the, the upswing, no, no pun intended, but um, so many more people are golfing. Um, there's a lot more women golfers. There's um, younger people that are golfing, millennials, youth. And um, it's just exciting to see what's happening in this world of golf. And we can take you out into the world of golf. You saw all these different destinations that uh, my, my list just keeps getting longer, as I'm sure many of um, the, the people watching this, their list is as well. And we can help get you there. I love it. Well, I do have a couple of questions and feel free to put any questions in the chat if you have them. But, Please. you know, my experience golfing in different places in the world is sometimes they require a caddy. So what do you do in those situations? Well, it depends on where you go. Um, if you're going to the British Isles and, uh, and you want the full experience uh, playing a Lynx golf course, you know, for example, say we get you onto the old course at St. Andrews, you absolutely should get a caddy. Uh, and caddies uh, on these Lynx golf courses uh, are never guaranteed because they're independent contractors. Um, you know, the, the fun about these golf experiences is, uh, you know, they're, they're always telling stories they're always, it's always, the story is always built around a pub experience, but they're sharing that with you on the golf course. And, but not only is there a, you know, their banter as we call it very good, but their knowledge of the golf course, uh, especially line of sight, especially at the old course, because you're like, they'll tell you to aim at the, you know, the, the church steeple in town and you'll go, what? <laughs> but you trust them. And that's what you try, you aspire to do that. So the caddy experience in Scotland and Ireland is, you know, if it's a must, it's, it's on par here cost wise with, uh, if you're a private club, it's probably, um, on, it's about a hundred to 125, including the tip, but, uh, it's, it's well worth it because it's truly special. Now, if you go into some of the resorts, um, usually they have a caddy program. It's more for caddies that you have. Um, so, and, and that's also very helpful. So, but we do our best to aspire to, uh, to provide whatever the need is for, for our clients. Excellent. So thinking specifically about the, the trips to Cabo, they both sound absolutely amazing, a lot of fun. Um, if, if you are maybe a non-golfing spouse, but you wanted to play one round or something like that, is that possible? 100%. Um, okay. In fact, we welcome it because um, uh, my, my partner in crime, she is, uh, she is just getting into golf. So when we were there in December, uh, at Kavira, which is the, the top, you know, that's up on the cliffs. Uh, we, you, even if you don't play golf, you can go, you can ride around, you can get your own golf cart. They charge $50 and then you can partake in the comfort stations that you have throughout the golf course. And, and they make you come in and eat and drink. So that's great. But you can drive around and it's, it's, the scenery is absolutely stunning. And to be out there just to experience what, what the golfer goes through is just, it's good fun. But if, even if they want to go out and play nine holes, they can do that and they can ride along. Uh, absolutely. I mean, the, the golf courses are open to that. We just need plenty of notice to make sure that we can, uh, we can make it happen. Sounds good. I don't see any other questions in the chat. Did I miss anything, um, Sean? Anything else that we should bring to our customers about you know, how amazing a, a golf vacation could be? Uh, well, just from my own personal experience and doing this for a, a long time, and I'm an average golfer, but, um, you know, it's uh, there's just the, the memories you have. I mean, just play, if you play local at your own home club, but there's some laughter and there's some good banter going on. But when you take it to a destination, whether it's Scotland, whether it's Portugal, Spain, or even Cabo, and, and who you're with, it, it's just, it's, it's hard to put into words how special that is. And, you know, you're just like, half the time you know bill and i are well traveled in what we do and we we stop and look at each other and go look where we are this is amazing and uh and it's just and to be able to do it in a different culture it's such a great connector um and a, and a wonderful uh you know it's just it's an, an e e even play, playing field and the fact that the world plays golf every every country plays golf and you get to meet so many people and that's what i love about the travel aspect of it and highly highly recommend it and 
as we, cause we're, we're relationship people. And I think for your clients, if you're, you know, you've got many choices on who you book, but uh, just what separates us from most people is that we like to, you know, we like to get the best out of the destination. You do that through the eyes of a local and we have, every, we have friends in every destination, which makes our job easier, but it also makes that experience that much better. So that's why we we're kind of different. I love it. I can think of about 20 clients right now who would love this. So um, we're going to be reaching out to our customers. I thank you all for your time and joining us today. Um, this will be recorded and everyone attending will get a copy of the, the, the recording and uh, other people can join in by watching it on Facebook or um, with the link that I'll be sending you tomorrow. So thanks everybody for joining. I appreciate yeah, Nora, all just your one, time. one last thing, Nora, just for yeah. your for your clients listening. Um, yeah, it's, we're an extension to your travel leaders team and to your advisors. If uh, the, any of the clients are interested in, in, in contacting us, we work uh, simultaneously with, with your advisor. Uh, please contact them and uh, let them know. And if you want to, we can set up a three-way call uh, with myself or Bill or Sandra, whatever it may be. And we'll, we'll move forward and we'll come back to you with whatever it is that you want. But thank you. Know, you guys. That is the best way to plan is if our customers can get right on the line with you and we can work through some of those details. I absolutely love it. Wonderful. Good. Well, thanks, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Nora. Thank thanks, you, everybody. Nora. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye.